What is up guys, Vulcan here, and in today's video, I just wanted to uh, vlog my Sandstorm jersey photo shoot. Mr. Who Dat, is this an acceptable pose? Hey guys, sorry for that cringy intro. Sometimes my terrible humor just gets the best of me, and yeah, for anyone wondering, Who Dat is the leader of the competitive team at Sandstorm and he told me I have to take a picture for the website in my uniform so that that was why I kind of had that little joke going there hopefully you guys don't hate me for it but yeah let's get into this deck today I'm going over this hog deck that I made so I've been testing out a lot of hog decks in the meta and currently it's just not really that good but I did find that this deck works pretty well Mainly because of the flying machine, because in this meta you see a lot of like goblin huts and mega knights, but with the flying machine, um, what you can do or what you can do is snipe the goblin hut from your side of the bridge, and then if he uses, if your opponent uses a mega knight to uh, defend the hog, then it won't get a ton of value. Also, killing like a musketeer behind it because a flying machine is air, and the mega knight can't kill. Um, air so and then the royal ghost is in here and the ice column mainly just to tank and uh defend and sometimes you can bait out like a mega knight with the royal ghost or a pekka or a big troop and then you can throw a hog rider opposite lane when they're low on elixir um and then other than that yeah it just kind of works like a normal a normal hog cycle deck you really have to get your damage early in the game because if you get to double elixir and you haven't got a lot of damage on their tower then a lot of times your opponent can end up beating you so it's just important to uh, take a tower early so i am currently eight and one in the grand challenge and let's get into this thing so we are up against sasuke uchiha i think um, I will probably start off with a tombstone. I'll just wait a second or two. Nope, he goes Goblin Hut, so I'm going to try to snipe that. And I'm going to play a preemptive Ice Spirit, just because usually when you try to snipe something, uh, they will try to defend it. So I'll just play my Hog Rider to kind of to defend that uh, Baby Dragon and get some nice damage on the tower. I could play my tombstone here, but sometimes it's just nice to get a counter push going. And uh, just in case he has a, like a hog rider or something, I'm just going to save my tombstone. Okay, he does have a P.E.K.K.A., so as I said earlier, um, a lot of times the Royal Ghost can bait out the P.E.K.K.A. And now he doesn't have P.E.K.K.A. for my hog rider, so if I can defend this pretty cheaply, I can get a hog counter push going. Ooh, that was a terrible hog rider. <laughs> I meant to, um... Well, I didn't mean for it to get a hit on the tower. Or, um, I didn't mean for the P.E.K.K.A. to get a hit on my hog. But, it, even so, it got a lot of damage on the tower. So, since it's single elixir, I'm just going to be cycling a lot of hog riders. And then, double elixir, I'm going to go more defensive. The only thing I really have to defend the ghost here is the tombstone so I'm gonna use that and now that we got a tower we can kind of just defend for the rest of the game but I will pressure the opposite lane if he throws a P.E.K.K.A on the right side but if he throws it on the left side I'm just gonna uh, play it careful so I can pretty safely poison that he doesn't have graveyard or anything because he has battle ram so I don't I'm not too worried about that and I think I have this game I just have to be careful I will throw a hog just to pressure the opposite lane. Just because if I throw anything into that P.E.K.K.A, it's just going to get evaporated instantly. Play my tombstone. And... Smart move by him. Hopefully we can get this defense. Looking a little bit sketchy. It looks like he might get this tower, unfortunately. Maybe? No, he does not get the tower. And... I'll just poison that Goblin Hut, and I think I can just defend now.
as you can see, it was just it was really important to um, get his tower done early because I definitely couldn't have. Well, maybe I could have, but it would have been a lot harder to take a tower in Double Luxor. So we got a nice win uh, in our first match, and let's go for 10 wins. We are up against Dur Prefix, and I have Hog in my starting hand, but I don't like to start off with Hog. Um, sometimes I do, but like I'll start off with Hog, but I'll just wait a little bit just to make sure he doesn't do anything. He's not doing much, so I'll throw a Hog Rider and I'll just throw an Ice Spirit behind it, just in case he has like bats or something. He gets a nice defense. It looks like he probably has the golem deck. So I'm going to play now, keeping that in mind. He does. I'll just throw an ice golem in front of this, just so he has to um, defend it with something and hopefully not be able to support his golem as well. Nice. Um, I am going to hog opposite lane. And I'll poison that. Not the best poison, but I didn't really have much else in that situation. I'll use an Ice Golem to pull his ghost, and hopefully it'll even pull the ghost to my ghost. Maybe not, though. Ooh. That'll get a couple hits on my tower. Unfortunately, I'm losing right now, but... He's definitely low on elixir, so and probably doesn't have enough elixir for a goblin hut. So I'll throw out my hog rider right there. If I can get down his tower, then I can pretty safely defend for the rest of the game. Ooh. He's got some nice value on the flying machine and the goblin hut. In this situation, I really do want to save my poison for the flying machine because I don't really have much else to counter it. Okay, I'll just go all out in the other lane and make sure to take the tower. If he ignores this, then I might even go for the three crown. He is ignoring it, so <laughs> there we go. Interesting. It looks like he's going to take my tower, so I'm going to defend the left just to make sure I don't lose it. And... Hopefully he doesn't 3 crown me here. It's looking a little bit risky. But I'm not too worried. Not the best. Definitely not a good situation to be in. Uh, that's really bad. I think I lost this game. Kind of unfortunate. Just going in a last uh, effort push. Ooh. Unfortunately, looks like he got the game. Good game. I think I should have defended. Yeah, I definitely should have defended harder there, and I'm not going for the three crown. Kind of a mistake. Normally, I beat Golem. Um, let's see. Every time I face Golem, yeah, I beat it there. And... Oh, apparently I haven't faced Golem in a while. Beat it there. But yeah, normally I beat Golem, so... I think my mistake there was definitely going for the three crown. I should have just... Tried harder to defend, um, but I thought I could get it, but it was, yeah, it was a big mistake. So we are up against Salar, and good luck. I think you play Flying Machine right here. You can snipe an Elixir Pump, so I'm going to try it. And I'm going to play my Hog Rider now also to snipe that pump, and just to tank from my Flying Machine. Interesting. So I'll use my Ice Golem here to pull that minion horde just so it doesn't get too much damage on my tower. And it also should tank for the Royal Ghost a little bit. I could poison the pump, but if I can avoid it, then I will. He 
it's definitely really low in elixir right now, so I'm going to go in with a hog rider and hopefully get a lot of damage on this tower. I'm going to pre-log because he yeah, he probably has goblin gang. And he didn't have enough elixir for minion horde in that situation. So we get a lot of damage on his tower. Looking really good. I'll save my poison for his muscles here. Ooh, interesting. I'll throw down a royal ghost because then he won't have enough elixir to also three musketeer, hopefully. And we got a nice even trade on that. He has a very smart battle ram, which might connect to my tower. I'll have to poison here because I have nothing else to defend that P.E.K.K.A. Thankfully he threw out a goblin gang there because otherwise I think that P.E.K.K.A would have hit my tower and I would have had to waste a log anyway. He has nothing in cycle for Hog Rider right now. Except P.E.K.K.A which is really expensive so that should get um, some nice damage on the tower. Nice. Okay, so I'm going to play Tombstone right here, and then hopefully cycle back in time uh, another Tombstone. I'll try to snipe those Musketeers with my Royal Ghost. And I'll save my Poison. There we go. He throws down his Minion Horde. Looks like we got a nice defense, and we got this game in the bag. I'll just pressure a little bit just to keep that flying machine alive and make sure it doesn't lose too much value. And looks like it's a good game. Okay, so just waiting for the next match now. Um, tomorrow I'm going to make a video about uh, a free-to-play Expo cycle deck. So. I'm looking forward to making it. A lot of people have been requesting Expo, and a lot of people have been requesting free-to-play decks. Unfortunately, this deck has Ghost in it, but you could probably just sub it out for a mini P.E.K.K.A. or a Knight, and it would work out pretty much the same. Ghost is just kind of better in most situations. Just because it's, like, overpowered. But, yeah. Unfortunately, I just legged out. Gonna try to whip out my phone and play there. Ooh. Nope, we're back. Oh. I lost a lot of damage on my tower. Oh no. <laughs> wow, that really stinks. This is gonna be hard to come back from. Normally, this is an easy matchup, but losing that much damage early in the game is not good. I'm not gonna play with Hog yet because he has Tornado. I know this deck pretty well. So I'm gonna try to bait out his tornado first um, unfortunately he doesn't play tornado there interesting I will log that, and I'll have my flying machine ready for his um, goblin barrel. I'll have my flying machine, ice spirit, and my ice golem ready. We'll see. I'm going to go for a hog on this push. Hopefully, he can't use his tornado. Okay, he does use a tornado, but he doesn't activate his king tower, so that's good for me. I'll play my flying machine here to snipe that princess, and hopefully also get some nice defensive value. I think that's a deep barrel. Ooh, it's not a deep barrel. Unfortunate. Um, he might activate his king tower here. He does not. I'll just play my poison. Hopefully my hog can get a hit. Looks like it doesn't. Yeah, it really stinks that uh, I got leg in the 
first minute because I needed to get his tower down early. Otherwise, in double elixir, it's going to be really hard. Okay, I'm going to go in with a push now and get my poison spell ready. Hopefully, he can get a hit on a tower. It doesn't look like it. This is not good for me. Thankfully, he doesn't have a big spell, so I'm going to make sure he doesn't um, outcycle my log. Got to be really careful about that. I could potentially win this, or it could even go into a draw, to be honest. Yeah, he's just going to start log cycling me out, which really stinks. I'll poison that princess, get some nice value. Hopefully, my hog can get a hit on the tower. It does not. <laughs> oh, man. That is a deep barrel by the looks of it. The only way he's going to hit my tower is with um, me missing a log. He's going to try to log cycle me out. Oh, no. Ooh, I get I'm getting a lot of damage on his tower. Could be game. Oh, that is good game. Oh, wow. He tried a little bit too hard there to outcycle my log, and it ended up being his downfall. Oh, that... Yeah, I definitely had the hard counter there. The only reason that was even close is just because I kind of lagged for, like, 10 seconds or 20... I think it was, like, 20 seconds. But we got the win, and let's go for the 12 win. Okay, we are up against Sunshine Gold. So... I will wait a second or two just to see what he does. I think I'm going to start off with Hog. <clears throat> a lot of Hog decks, you don't want to start off with Hog, but I think in this deck, um, since you want to get a lot of your damage before Double Elixir, and you don't have like a big Magnite or something, it's a good idea. I played my Royal Ghost there just because I didn't want him to be able to support his P.E.K.K.A. because I didn't have Tombstone to cycle. And ends up working out pretty well. I've definitely outcycled his um, P.E.K.K.A. by now, so I'm going to go in with a Hawk Rider and have my Poison spell ready. Gives me some nice value. Only one hit on the tower. Not not the best, not the worst. Um, probably shouldn't have played my Tombstone there because now I don't have it for Battle Ram, but I do have Royal Ghost, I do have Log, and I do have Ice Spirit, so I'm not too worried. I'll play my Flying Machine here. I'll have my Ice Spirit ready. Nice. I will play my Royal Ghost to defend that, and if it baits out something like his uh, P.E.K.K.A., then I can go Hog opposite lane. I think it might, because he doesn't have much in hand to defend this. Nope, he plays it smart. I'll just set up a Tombstone. A Tombstone in this position can pull a Battle Ram from um, any angle, so it's a pretty good way to play it. He probably doesn't have enough elixir for a P.E.K.K.A., so I am going to go Hog Rider. Also so, so he doesn't get too big of a Battle Ram push. Nice. I'll just play my Flying Machine right here in the middle, just so it can defend both lanes. I'll set up a Tombstone. Okay, I didn't think he had enough elixir for a P.E.K.K.A. there because he was just spending so much elixir attacking that there's no way he'd also have 7 elixir. I'll set up a Tombstone, but I won't even need it to defend this battle ram. And I'll have my Flying Machine ready. And I'll go with a Hog Ice Spirit. Um, maybe he can defend this, but... There, yeah, he doesn't even have P.E.K.K.A. Even if he did have P.E.K.K.A., it would still get hit on a Sour because of the Ice Spirit. Nice. Looks like this is good game in a second here. 
get my tombstone ready. And I'll throw out Hog Rider because he doesn't have enough elixir for a P.E.K.K.A. Gets a hit on Sour and good game. So we got a nice win against Sunshine Gold and yeah, this deck up has uh, this deck up. This deck has a pretty good matchup against everything. Uh, except the only thing that I was really losing to was, well, normally I'd beat Golem. I kind of just misplayed. I tried to go for the three crown. I should have defended. I could have very easily defended. Um, the other deck I was losing to was the Mega Knight deck, but even against that deck, you can still win it. You just have to make sure to not play your hog until, um, he plays his Mega Knight or he's low on Elixir. Kind of like how I did against the P.E.K.K.A. It's pretty, it's a pretty similar, like, game plan. So we got the 12 wins, and let's see what we get in our chest. 3 Hogs, 26 Ice Spirit, 4 Flying Machine, 5 Wizard, 9 Tombstone. Nice, nice. I don't care too much about all this, I just want to see if I got a Legendary. Ooh, I do get a Legendary, let's see what we get. Nice, the Inferno Dragon. So, yeah. Um, I would say this is definitely at least my favorite hog deck in the meta. I tried a bunch of different hog decks and not all of them worked. If you want a free to play hog deck, I think one that does work is the one that HBS1 used last season, which is, let's see, this deck. Um, I would say that's probably the best free to play hog deck right now. And yeah, so I'd recommend playing that if you don't have Royal Ghost or something, or you could just try put it in like a mini P.E.K.K.A. or a Knight or even a Bandit for the Royal Ghost, to be honest. But, or you could even put in like a Mega Knight. Uh, if you do happen to have that unlocked, which some of you probably don't have that unlocked either. But, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoy the deck. Tomorrow I'm coming out with an Expo deck or maybe the day after tomorrow. And, yeah, Vulcan out!